Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It's story time. Today's story is how the mango got its magic. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful mango grove on the outskirts of a village. Dinkar was the owner of the grove and Shyam was his hard-working son. Back in those days, mangoes were ornamentally fruit with a beautiful color and shape, but they were not very tasty. They were more sour than sweet. One day, it began to rain heavily and there was a knock on the door of Dinkar's house. Knock, knock, knock. When Dinkar opened the door, he saw an old man standing at his doorstep. The old man said, Hello, I got caught in the rain. Will you let me in? I will leave once it stops raining. Dinkar generously welcomed him in. It looks like the rain will not stop today, but it may cease tomorrow. Please come in. You can take shelter here. Squiddle, squiddle, squiddle. The old man entered the house. Sham made him a hot meal and gave him some water to drink. The old man gulped the water down and devoured the food quickly within a minute. After a loud burp of satisfaction, he smiled at Sham and Dinkar and said, that was a wholesome meal, munch, crunch, gurg. He took out a mango from his bag and gave it to his dinkar. This is for both of you, he said. Please cut it and eat it immediately. Dinkar looked at the mango. It looked like it was one of the very sour ones. He did not want to insult his guest. So he cut the mango and bit into it. His eyes popped in wonder and he turned to his son Shyama. All the mangoes I have eaten in my life have been sour like the taste of lemon. Though we have a mango grove, we never eat the mangoes that grow here. But this mango is fantastic and unusually sweet. It's absolutely delicious. Go on, try it. Shama took his first bite and nodded his head vigorously in agreement. This mango was indeed sweet and tasty. Shama had never even heard of sweet mangoes. Plant this mango seed. The tree will grow up quickly and produce more mangoes like the one you are ate just now. The old man smiled and said, the next morning it stopped raining. The old man thanked Dinkar and Sham for their timely hospitality and left. Immediately after the old man went on his way, Shyama ran to the mango grove and carefully planted the precious seed. The tree grew very quickly, just like the old man had said, and in no time it began to flower. Within a few months, golden mangoes were hanging from the branches. Sham went to the grove every day to check them. He enjoyed watching the fruits grow and ripen. One day, he decided that it was time to pluck the ripe mangoes. He marked the mangoes on one branch of the tree for ease and decided to bring a basket the next day to collect them. The following day, to his astonishment, the marker mangoes had vanished. There were mangoes in all the other trees in the grove. But not on the one branch that he had marked on the special tree. Someone has stolen my chosen mangoes, he thought disappointed. Shyam called the caretaker 
of the grove and instructed him please keep an eye on this specific tree as the mangoes here are special precious i have marked another set of mangoes on the tree they will be ready to be plucked by next week i will come and collect them convinced that his mangoes were now safe he went home the next week sham went to harvest the mangoes oh no not again the mangoes that he, i had marked are not there on the branch indeed there were mangoes in all the other trees in the grove but not the ones that he had marked on the special tree he was distraught he questioned the caretaker did you take the mangoes from this tree the caretaker was offended sir you appointed me to keep an eye on these mangoes then why would i steal them besides if i wanted the mangoes i could have asked you directly because you would have given them to me i have done my duty sir and the truth is that i have not seen anyone enter or leave the mango grove without my knowledge i was here every day from 7 in the morning to 7 at night throughout the week i can assure you that the mangoes were there yesterday during my shift shama was perplexed perhaps the intruder comes at night he thought in that case i should appoint a security guard for the night the new security guard was appointed for night duty and he received the same instructions please keep an eye on this specific tree as the mangoes here are special and precious by next week the mangoes on this marked branch will be ready to be plucked and i will come to collect them i don't want these mangoes stolen at any cost i will hold you responsible if something happens to them the night guard nodded don't worry sir i will take care of the tree he said the next week sham went to gather the mangoes to his amazement the marker mangoes were not there on the branch yet again there were mangoes in all the other trees in the grove but not on the branch he had marked on the special tree again he called the night security guard do you sleep at the night during your shift he asked furiously no sir i was awake all night then where are the mangoes the night guard replied sir i was guarding the tree all the night and the mangoes were most definitely there in the wee hours of the morning i smelled a wonderful aroma i looked around for a quick check but could not figure out where it was coming from so i returned to my station completed my shift handed the reins to the caretaker at 7 am and went home that's when someone could have stolen the mangoes during the shift change thought sham next week i will stay here and catch the thief myself he announced sham marked the mangoes on the special tree that were going to be ready the next week and went home here i share half of the story as part 1 so remaining story will be shared in the next video thank you for listening to the story guys if you like the story please like and share this video with your friends and please do subscribe to this channel it's story time and so if you subscribe you will be notified when i post the next video thanks again for listening to the story have a great day and 
बाय बाय टेक केयर